Alright guys, welcome back to 2D Plus One's Becoming a Game Artist. This is the third video in the series and right now we are working on our next gen door. In the last video, uh, we imported this piece of reference art and we, uh, we created a high poly model and we made our low poly model from our high poly. And all our low poly is is a square. Alright, so like I said in the last video, now we're going to be baking the normal map onto the low poly. But there are a few things that I'd like to note. You may have noticed that this door has a frame, a doorknob, and these hinges here, and that isn't a part of our door. Now, we're still going to make those, and they're going to be a part of the same map, but what we're going to be using is um, normal map layering. Now, for this door, normal map layering really wouldn't be necessary if I was, if I was say, making this for a project, but I'm doing it so I can show you guys how to. See, what normal map layering is, is, um, for example, if I had a, a really high poly character or machine, um, I would normal map, I would map out all of the pieces individually and then put them all together into one map so my computer doesn't crash trying to to bake them all at once. Alright, so now let's get started with our bake. So first thing that I did was I named all of my objects. I called my low poly just door, my high poly, high poly door, and uh, my reference art, ref art. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, go to element and select my whole low poly door and go down to polygon smooth groups and just click one so it's all under the same smooth group I'm in smooth highlights so you can't really see the effects but if you go to uh, or I'm sorry I was in hidden line if, if you go to smooth highlights you'll see that it it looks kind of weird but uh, we're not going to worry about that right now alright and the next thing I need to do is unwrap the UVW map for my door so we're going to go to the modify list over here I know you guys haven't been over here yet but uh, the modify list is very useful there's a lot of really cool things on here that you guys can uh, toy around with so I click the arrow and scroll all the way down to the bottom and then find unwrap UVW. Click that and um, under parameters I'm going to click edit and I'm not really getting anything right now. There's nothing showing up and what I need to make sure is under editable poly that I am on vertex. Alright and I'm going to go back to unwrap UWs, edit and now we have this box doesn't really uh, look like it's doing a whole lot um, but what we need to do is unwrap it now you may be thinking why are we doing this if we don't unwrap our model we cannot bake our normal maps uh, I remember the first time I ever tried to normal map I, I um, skipped the whole unwrapping part of things and I was got really frustrated because I didn't know why my normals, normals weren't turning out but we need to make sure that we're unwrapping so what I'm gonna do is just select everything here I, and make sure that I'm on this this button right here select everything go to mapping Flatten mapping. Okay. Alright, and now I'm going to stitch these pieces together so they're all one piece instead of all these different separate separate squares. Um, I'm going to start with my, my the front part of my door because that's the piece that we're going to be using. And I'm going to go to Tools, Stitch Selected. Okay. Now I'm just going to go back to the front part of my door and continue that. Now I have a hotkey set, set for Stitch. I'll show you guys how to make hotkeys later on. But, um... Uh, it, it's pretty useful, especially once you get into modeling some more complex objects where you'll be stitching tons of pieces together in different ways. Okay, so here is the basic unwrap for our door. Now, although this looks decent inside the editor, we need to make sure there's no texture stretching. So what I'm going to do is, um, with this door selected, I'm going to click M to bring up my material editor. And you'll see that I had already rendered out a normal map. Um, and I'm going to... Sorry. I'm going to... Click right here in Diffuse where it says None. I'm going to click that and go to Checker. And then I'm just going to apply it to my model. And I'm going to change the tiling to 15 each. All right, and now we're seeing some texture stretching right here. These should all be perfect squares, and they're definitely not. They're, they're stretched out a little bit. And so the way we're going to fix that is simply going back to our UVW map. And we're just going to kind of play with the length of this piece. Now, the only piece that really needs to not have any stretching is the front and maybe the sides. We pro probably won't be looking at the back part of our door all that often. So, let's work this out. Alright, 
So it's starting to look a little bit more like squares. There we go, now we have squares. And the sides are still stretching just a tad. Now you may be wondering what, oh, that's too much. Might be wondering what this line is here, this big green line. Those are uh, where pieces are not stitched together. So if you look right, click on these two, if you look right here, this on the model is connected, but since this is a flat grid that we're laying out, we can't connect that without it, it pulling and stretching on the piece. So you'll see that it's um, just kind of tells us that it's not connected. And uh, when we're doing more complex models, that'll be helpful helpful to kind of see what um, what we need to still weld together. That should be fine for the back. Well, now we're gonna scale it up a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure this is over in this corner here because like I said, we'll be doing texture layering so I need room to, to put in my other uh, maps. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is collapse my um, UVW map so it stays permanently a part of the model. So I'm just gonna right click on it and go to collapse too. Yes. All right, and now we're going to make sure that our low poly is directly under our high poly by going to a line right here and just clicking our high poly and clicking okay. Now I'm going to do that again so you can make sure you have all the same boxes ticked as me. Okay, and now I'm going to bring up my render to texture panel. And the way I'm going to do that is by clicking zero. Okay, um, you can also go to rendering, render to texture. But um, the first thing I'm going to do is turn my padding up to eight. All right, and next I'm going to go to my options, setup. And make sure um, under common, I'm going to go all the way down and make sure that my render is the default scan line render. You may have it sent to mental ray, but or mental ray render, but we want to make sure that we're at default scan line render. Okay, we're going to go back to renderer, and we're going to go down here and make sure you have enable global super sampler and set to max 2.5 star. All right, and that should be good. That's important. And now we're going to pick our high poly door. This is where naming them came in handy. And I'm going to scroll down and add normal map. Now you see that there's a lot of other things I could pick, but for now we're just going to do normal maps for this model. All right, 512 by 512. And then, oh, we have a cage for our model. Now you got to make sure that no part of your high model goes outside of this blue cage right here. Otherwise it won't render. And uh, if you saw when we were in options, it showed options it says ray miss color red so every time that something's missed it'll show up in red so you want to make sure you don't have any red in your in your renders okay so this should the cage looks pretty good it doesn't look like any part of the high poly strip jutting out of the cage so uh, what we're gonna do is click render and you'll see that we have rendered out a, uh, a normal map for our door Okay, and now what I'm going to do is go to Manage Layers, hide my high poly door, hide my ref art. I have two low polys. Um, sorry about that. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay, close out. I'm going to delete my projection map. Click M to bring up my material editor again. Go right over here, and um, in Maps, I'm going to I'm going to open up Maps. Go down to Bump, Ticket, turn it up to 100%. Click none, go down to normal bump, then go click normal, and click uh, bitmap, and then find my door normal map, and then I'll apply. And now right now we can't really tell what's going on, but if we render it out, we'll see that. I'm just gonna click render, go to render. And you'll see that it looks like our high poly door, our low poly door looks like a high poly door, all rendered out. So I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll, where we'll be making a, uh, a few more parts of the store, layering the normals, and then applying a texture. So yeah, see you then.